the sound mix was bad there. I'm, I'm going to have to collect my thoughts and do another sound from this wonderful phonic studio with these excellent microphones and make the make the points again, I guess. Uh, anyway, that's that's on YouTube, and I, I think it, putting things on YouTube is good because you can add comments there. Style clash, student accommodation opposite St Luke's in Exeter. And what I've gathered since then through the... You know, no comments it's at the moment, but you can add a comment there if you like. Um, I'd be especially interested, people who, who work at St Luke's or study at St Luke's, what, what do you think about the prospect of having a, a building like that directly opposite, what you think it does for the style of St Luke's? Because the first time this came round at the planning meeting, which is also on YouTube, by the way, um, the whole the whole planning meetings are on on YouTube. You have to work through quite a lot of other things before you get to these bits. But it started with the planning professionals talking about urban edge. They're very pleased with the idea that Exeter should have urban edge. So the student accommodation near the swimming bath, the new St St Sidwell's uh, area they think that's a good thing because it goes right to the edge of the pavement, it's very tall, it, f it fills all the space and there's another one just across the road. So it's a, it's a neighbourhood of urban edge and they'd like more of this. So a, a kind of announcement signpost building on your way into Exeter would, would be very good uh, on that theory. Uh, but meanwhile, Exeter's got a reputation as a as a green space. It's I think it's won awards as a as a green city, and that's that's slightly different. So the the Waitrose, which I think was only about ten or twelve years ago, that that must have had planning guidance on 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 the look of it, and that I'd say is quite quite consistent with with St Luke's. It's it's set back quite a long way from the road. It's got a lot of green space around it, trees and grass and dog walking space and so forth. Uh, so the, what they're proposing is, is very different and the images they're putting out, at least as so far as the Express and Echo finds them, is no different at all on their revised application. Um, so to, tomorrow is a, is a dry, I'll be doing a drama show between 8, eight and 10 and I'll, I'll go into my CD walk Thing. I, try, I try to keep this more to reality, uh, the We Don't Know show. We'd, although we don't know things, we'd like, we'd like to know. And w what would be interesting, the, the, the university rarely says what it thinks the, the impact of its um, numbers policies is going to be on accommodation or on the city. Um, they, don't, they don't really invite people outside the university to comment on their strategy documents and they don't see other people's developments of student accommodation as, as part of what, what they're doing really I don't think um, you don't get comments on Harlequins for example what's happening there I don't, I don't, well I've not come across them but it seems, it seems to me in the case of the, the student accommodation proposals and St Luke's it's getting closer to where where they experience things so I, I, I imagine there are people who who work at St Luke's or study at St Luke's who have a view about this but it never finds itself into the echo although other other local views do crop up there or crop up as protests or objections at the planning meetings um, expose I've not seen anything in there by anybody from St Luke's about this situation but the, there may be something um, W-E-N-O-T-N-O -O on Twitter or, or put a comment on this style clash student accommodation opposite St Luke's next to if that's easier um, just be interesting to know what they might think so I think I'm going to try and make this into a drama just to, the, because the CD walk needs expanding and updating that's that's basically walk, walking around central exeter 
looking at where the record retail or music retail used to be and asking the question what, how much space is actually needed for education uh, if that moves online in a, in a similar sort of way. So maybe that there would be um maybe in the in the in the Waitrose Cafe or one of the cafes on the on the St Luke's campus some people talking about uh the look of of the neighborhood and how much sense it makes to put so much energy and resource into that sort of building when um what was it? It was telematics. Telematics seems to have gone. Um, something like that maybe should 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 have more energy.